Hello and welcome back, my Space Ninjas of Melk, to my first Barrow Katir video. Now, Barrow Katir, he's got some items for sale that are very special, and this will be for the console, which is where I play. So if you're just interested in what he has on stock and my advice for your purchases, skip to the two minute mark. But if you're a little bit confused as to who Barrow is, maybe you've played Destiny, he's very similar to Xur. So he's a trader that sells premium items and he only shows up once every two weeks. So the sorts of things he sells include Prisma weapons, which are powerful variants of existing weapons. He sells a quest for the Unaros Warframe basically every week. He sells things like affinity boosters, and he sells some very cool cosmetic items. But the most important thing he sells are primed mods, and this week, He's got a doozy of one in Prime Pressure Point, which is the melee damage mod. So if you played Warframe a bit and you got some spare Prime parts, I would really suggest getting on this weekend. He's only going to be around till about midday Sunday, depending on your time zone, and pick yourself up a Prime Pressure Point. You're going to need 385 Ducats and a few hundred thousand credits. So that is definitely what I would recommend. And even if you haven't been playing the game, you probably have what you need to get that mod. All you need to do is just sell your spare crap at the Ducat kiosk, which is right next to Barrow, and that is how you get the most important currency for picking up what you need from Barrow. It's pretty easy to get the credits. If you need credits, I would recommend doing some low-level defense missions, do five waves, and then get out can pick up uh, a lot of credits quickly that way if you're doing the dark zone defenses which are the infested defenses where you get extra XP and extra credits most importantly in this case so let's take a look now one mod I personally was looking forward to here is primed heavy trauma which is the melee damage mod for impact specifically it goes up to 165 percent extra impact so that'll be really useful for weapons like the fragor a lot of the hammers a lot of the fist weapons more importantly because i really enjoy the fist weapons in this game they're really fun and most of them deal primarily impact damage though there's a sparring weapon on the pc right now that's mostly puncture that i'm really looking forward to uh, so definitely pick that up if you like hitting things with hammers or your fists and you've got the spare ducats but most importantly is prime pressure point and he's also got boosters down there at the bottom affinity credit and resource boosters those are very helpful but pretty expensive uh, but if you plan on leveling up a bunch of stuff or farming a lot of credits or resources this weekend definitely a good thing to pick up and many many really cool cosmetics there's the Pyro Sagatra, which goes on your weapons, the Yamako Prisma Sandana for your back, and Katir Sentinel Wings, which shoot out a little hologram from the side. I'm going to pick up those just to check them out. Don't think I'm going to get the tail, though. These are pretty expensive for just a little trick for your Sentinel. I did pick up that chest plate, though, because I don't have a cool chest plate, and that thing looks kind of neat. There is the Redeemer skin, which is a really great weapon. There are the Primed mutation mods for the shotgun and rifle. If you're going to get one of those, I definitely suggest the rifle. There's a lot of really excellent ammo hungry rifles like the Synapse or Amprex or a lot of those really fast firing high crit weapons which just kind of eat up ammo really quick. And if you don't want to bring your carrier or your carrier bites it and you don't have the mutation working off of that, the primed rifle mutation will keep that going for quite some time. So you see me vacillating on getting the boosters and the Edo shoulder plates in particular. I think those look really cool. I think the Yamako Sandana looks really cool, but they're very expensive. This Prisma Sigil, I don't know. It looks pretty neat. I'm going to get it just because it's 50 Ducats, but I'm not sure that's really worth it. And the Redeemer skin looks very, very cool. And I'm definitely considering buying that too, but it also is pretty expensive for just a cosmetic. So really, what you want to focus on is that prime pressure point and making sure you have at least enough for one of those, and probably two if you want to have some spare platinum down the line, because 
Prime Pressure Point is a really great mod, and if you max it out and want to sell your maxed out one and then start leveling up another one, it's a great way to infuse your wallet with some platinum. And you see me with the Venka Prime there. I just farmed those up. That'll be the next milking the most out of video I'm going to put up. These Venka Prime are very unique in both the stance opportunities they have, but most importantly in the way that the combo bonus works for those weapons. You get an extra 25% damage for every level of the combo meter you build up. So they have some pretty incredible combo potential because of that uh, damage potential and status potential. So it will be a critical and status build using both Weeping Wounds and Blood Rush, and I'm looking forward to showing that off because it's really effective and it's also really fun and easy to use. It's got a lot of quality of life and really powerful effectiveness for cutting through things like really strong armored enemies. And before that or after that, I'll also be doing a Bolt video. Now, Bolt is one of the starting Warframes you can select from the beginning of the game along with Mag and Excalibur, but I would definitely recommend you pick Bolt. And I have Dominic Sani to thank for giving you that advice because he had me... He recommended that I revisit Bolt, and it has quickly become one of my favorite Warframes, if not my favorite. It's kind of budding for the top slot with Loki right now. Volt is an incredible frame that can basically do it all. It's got powerful abilities for DPS, powerful abilities for crowd control, powerful abilities for defense, and just a great balance of utility and damage and speed and melee and guns. Whatever you want to do, Volt can really do it. And he can do it well in the early game and he can do it well into the late game. So I'm really looking forward to making that video because Volt is just an incredible frame and a very powerful melee focused frame in particular. So I really love melee, especially with this new prime pressure point that I'm looking forward to messing around with. So I hope you enjoyed. Sorry for the delays between the videos lately. Been very busy, but looking forward to making more Warframe and Souls content and other games as they come up. So I hope you had a milky holiday and I hope you stay milky in the new year. Love y'all.